So let's go ahead and fix this problem. It is reloading every time when we change the orientation. So we don't want that. So let's go to the Android manifest here and here into the player activity. We need to change the config. So here every time when config changes, we are going to pass this orientation and screen size. Okay. So when you, when you add this configuration, it's not going to uh, reload the activity every time when we change the orientation. And anyway, now I want that player activity to, activity to be in the portrait mode, okay, all the times. So I'm just going to change the orientation as well. Screen orientation, I want to make it portrait. And when somebody click on the full screen button, it will uh, automatically uh, change the portrait mode to landscape mode and it will make the video full screen. Okay, so let's go back to the player activity here and when somebody click on the full screen, I want to hide the full screen icon because we are we are letting user to exit the full screen mode when they click on back button. Okay, so let's uh, change the orientation. So to change the orientation, we can use the method that is built in method that we have set orientation. So we can use built in method to set the orientation. So set request orientation and we can use portrait or landscape. So whenever somebody click on the full screen button, I want to, I want to change the orientation to landscape. So I want to change info dot screen orientation and here I want it to make it landscape. Okay. And I will also hide the full screen button that we have. And uh, let me see, it is called full screen OP. So we can use that variable here, OP and we can use set visibility and make it gone and also I want to change the background color of this frame layout so it uh, let's make this black so select the frame layout and change this to black now let's run this application and see it again uh, let's run this again here from here okay the video is starting and I'm gonna go and make it full screen and you can see it is automatically making this video full screen and we have some uh, border margin here, we'll fix that. Uh, apart from that, uh, it is in the full screen mode, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and uh, now, uh, whenever somebody click on this back button, I want this full screen to exit and come back to the uh, smaller screen mode. But currently it is already coming to the main activity. So we need to fix that. Okay, now let's go here and uh, Whenever somebody click on the back, back, back button, we want uh, that uh, activity to exit and come to the normal screen, okay? We want that to be uh, come to the portrait mode and with the normal screen. So let's go and do that. So here I want to override the on back pressed and I will remove the super dot on pressed, okay? Uh, if we don't remove the super dot on back pressed, it's, it's going to send us to the main activity but we don't want that here what I want to do is I want to when somebody click on the back button I want to display the action bar I want to display the status bar so I'm just gonna copy this code from here and instead of hide I want to show it okay and here instead of add the flag I want to clear the flag that means it will display display the support uh, action bar and it will also uh, display the status bar okay and now i want to uh, make this frame layout come to the come to its original position and also to its uh, video player to, to come back to its original posi position so it should look like how it was before making it full screen so i want to copy the same code from here and now here instead of making this match parent I will give the 20 220 dp of height because that is the default height that we have given we need to give integer value here in the dp but if i give just 220 here it will be in the it will be in the pixel so it will uh, um, count it as the 220 pixel but we need to give the 220 dp here so to give the dp value here we can use typed value you know what uh, i want to make this variable here before this and just use there so here let's uh, get the value so integer height value and I want to create type value here type value dot now we need to apply the dimensions and inside this we need to pass a few parameter so type value dot we need to specify so complex unit DIP 
is the uh, flag that we're going to use because we're going to use the dp value here so here we need to specify the float value that is 220 and we need to give the display matrix so we can use get resources to to get the display matrix and we'll use the get the display matrix okay now uh, it is asking me to cast this value so i'm just going to do that cast to integer now i can use hide value here as well as here okay and this video player is i think local variable so i need to make that um, global variable okay so we have this video view here i want to make that global so i'm just going to copy this from here and paste it here close the parenthesis and remove this video view now the video player is available as a global variable and we can use that here okay so what happening here is when somebody click on the full screen button it's going to hide everything like action bar it's, it's going to hide the action bar it's going to hide the status bar and it's going to make the frame layout covering up whole constant layout and it's make the frame layout covering up all the available spaces and video player following the same way that uh, frame layout is covering all the spaces available when somebody click on back button we are reverting we are reversing all the operation that we have done here so we are displaying the action bar we are displaying the status bar and we are also making the frame layout come back to the its default uh, height and we are also making the video player come back to its default height okay run this application okay let's open this one this time here we have that icon we can't see it currently but we have this so if i click on that it should make it landscape and it should uh, open this video in this format okay you can see the video is playing okay and now if i click on back button it should go back to the way it was before and you can see it is now let me try it again and it is not so it is not going back to the way it, it's supposed to be so let's go here and i forgot to add the screen screen orientation because i want to make it portrait so let's add that first let's make it portrait okay run again okay open the device and make it full screen and now if i click on this back it should go to the the way it was before but uh, the video view is still in the full screen mode so let me see what is the problem okay the problem seems with this windows manager dot layout params here we need to remove this value from here okay and we can directly create layout parents and i'm gonna give the match parent and the 220 dp of height value so let's give that height value okay and i'm gonna replace this windows manager with this again so let me paste that there and now if i run this application uh, we'll be able to fix that problem so let's see. now let's go ahead and run this application okay the app is running now and let's open this the video that we have here okay now video is playing let me click on the full screen button here and you can see our application is in landscape mode and you can see the video is in uh, full screen mode and we do have this border here we'll fix that in a second uh, now what if i click on back button here it should go back to the normal state it wasn't doing that before but i have changed this view group here now and it should work so let's click on back button and you can see we are in the uh, normal state of the video okay now you can see we don't have this uh, full screen button here so if you go back we uh, we are losing that so actually we have hide we had hide this full screen button there so what i want to do is i want to make this visible when we go back to the normal state okay so let's run this again okay open the video and click on full screen and you can see we are in the full screen mode now now i'll click on back button and it should go back to the normal state and it should have that full screen here okay so click on that it's gonna go to the full screen mode and click on back button and it goes back to the normal screen and that is exactly what we want okay now let me go and fix this uh padding here and if you remember at the beginning of the video when i was designing this layout i had given 
the padding in this frame layout and I think that is causing this problem so let me go and source the padding in the constant view you can see I have given the 5 dp of padding which is absolutely not required and that was causing the problem so I'm just going to remove that and you can see now we are in the full screen edge to edge mode now if I run this application it should fix that uh, margin issues and video should be completely full screen okay now if I click on full screen the video is completely full screen and this age is because of my display because my display is round age so you can see it is displaying that but it should display the full video in your phone if you are running on your phone and this is how we implement the full screen at least the way I wanted it to implement but if you are trying to do something different you can do it it's up to you now uh, there is one more problem we need to fix before we wrap up this uh, tutorial series so that is if I click on back button it is not working you can see if I click on this back button this back button none of this is working and we need to fix that and there is a clear explanation why that uh, back button button is not working so here you can see I have called the on back pressed right so every time when we click on this back button it's going to call this on back pressed and this is going to call this instead and here you can see nowhere nowhere I have called this super dot on back pressed button because when we call the super dot on back pressed it's going to go back to the main activity if you remember that I uh, mentioned that in the uh, one of the videos now what I want to do here is I want to go back to the main activity if the video player is in portrait mode that means user is not in the full screen mode he is in the portrait mode that means we can if the user click on back button that means he wants to go back to the main activity but if the user is in landscape mode that the, our video view is in full screen mode that means user wants to go back to the normal activity so first I'm going to check the orientation here if the screen is in portrait mode that means user wants to go back to the main activity so I will do that I will let the user go back to the main activity but if the orientation is in uh, landscape mode that means user wants to exit the full screen mode so I will do nothing that means it will just exit it itself from the full screen mode to normal mode okay so now here I want to I want to check the orientation of the screen so current orientation of the screen now to check the current orientation of the screen we can use get resources dot get configuration and we'll get the orientation and this is the integer value and we can compare this integer value to check if the orientation is portrait or landscape okay so orientation equals to configuration dot we can check if the configuration is portrait if this condition is true that means user wants to go back to the main activity so I'll just call on back pressed okay so this is the condition that will check if the user wants to exit from the full screen mode or if he wants to go back to the main activity now it will fix the problem that we were having so let's run this application for the final time and we will see if we have correctly implemented this or not okay our application is launched now let me open this one this time okay the video is playing now and now I'll click on this icon to go to the full screen okay I'll you can see you can still interact with the video and I'll click on back button to make go back to the uh, main activity uh, normal screen and from here now if I click on this back button here it should go back to the main activity yes now if I click on this back button it should go back to the main activity okay guys this is it for this video series and I hope you enjoyed making this video streaming application as much as I did and I hope you learned something from this video series and if you did don't forget to give thumbs up all of the videos in the video series that you have watched and if you get any questions problems errors you can ask me in the comment box below or you can join our Facebook group link is also in the description yeah and uh, I will see you in the next video have a good one